Less than 24 hours from now, the Blue Angels will take to the skies of Northeast Ohio. Look at them fly. The Cleveland Air Show kicks off tomorrow at Burke Lakefront Airport in downtown Cleveland, and this year marks a major milestone as the air show celebrates its 60th year here in the land. Our Leon Bibb takes a trip down memory lane of the Labor Day weekend tradition, reliving the thrills that still bring out the fans each and every year. For years, we have watched them scorch the skies, dancing in what the poet calls that long, beckoning blue. We who are anchored to the ground look up and marvel. They thunder over us, drawing our applause. For 60 years, Burke Lakefront Airport has been the headquarters of the Cleveland National Air Show, where piloted aircraft have danced on the silvered wings of flight. But long before Burke Lakefront was even a dream, there were the Cleveland National Air Races. Between 1929 and 1949, with the exception of the World War II years, aviation's attention was on Cleveland Hopkins, where competing pilots jockeyed for position in a route in the sky. Big and pioneering names in aviation were in Cleveland. Ohio has long had wings on the brain. After all, the Wright brothers, first to fly a powered aircraft in 1903, were Ohioans. In 1918, the first delivery of U.S. Postal Air Mail landed at a grassy strip in southeast Cleveland. That same year, an airplane manufacturing plant was established right here in the city. A few years after that, 1,000 acres of land at Brook Park and Riverside Drive was selected for the new Cleveland Municipal Airport, later to be named Hopkins Airport. Then came NASA Glenn Research Center. Years ago on a reporter's flight, I flew back seat with the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. I thrilled with the intricate maneuvers my pilot put us through. Even now, at every air show, although I am grounded, my heart and spirit are with jet pilots scorching the sky. In the old video, I am in flight again. You ready to climb? Let's go. Look at that. Wow. So this Labor Day weekend, as you gaze into the deep blue and take in the thunderous roar of airplanes overhead, realize how much was built on Cleveland's shoulders. For 3 News, I'm Leon B. What an amazing look at history there. Now, you can find air show tickets for this weekend and parking information on our website, WKYC.com. And of course, the air show isn't the only thing happening this weekend. Cleveland's Oktoberfest is going on right now at the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds in Berea. The festival features local breweries and German food, and it runs from noon all the way until midnight tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday as well from noon until 8 p.m. on Monday. That's the final day. Oktoberfest returns for a second weekend on September 6th and 7th. And that's not all. The first annual Cleveland Taco Fest officially kicked off downtown today. This is an incredible idea. More than 30 taquerias and local food trucks will be on hand for the four-day event. There will also be plenty of live music, fun, and entertainment for all ages. You can bring the family. That festival runs through Labor Day. 